so much carnage and bloodshed. And who would have thought one simple piece of jewelry could cause all this pain? But our story doesn't start here. Let's take a step back. My journey had led me north of Fort Greymore to the abandoned mines. It seemed like it was going to be a normal adventure, so I went in without even thinking. The mine was dark and eerie, and I can hear a faint sound in the distance. There was enemies having a conversation, so I drew my blade. I knew stealth right now would be my best option as I gained intel for what was going on. I could see a banded archer in the distance. The two bandits were facing each other. I knew there was something I had to do. I had to defend myself. Two of them quickly turned to four. I decided to run for the archers first. The bandits fought fiercely. I grabbed my sword in two hands and plunged it into one of the silver hands. All that was left was their leader. He had fallen to his knees. I knew I couldn't hesitate, so I struck swiftly. There were no match for my swordsmanship, but I could still hear faint voices in the distance. I continued to slowly make my way through the mine shaft, sword in hand. I spotted another bandit. He came directly for me. I knew it was time to take him out. I grabbed onto him and kept swinging. And that's where I saw the bandit chief. He had an axe, but I wasn't worried. I've had enough of you. I had been practicing my swordsmanship, so he was no match for me. Like I picked up his corpse and looted it. I placed his body down on the sleeping bag to make it seem like he was attacked in his slumber. But that's when I noticed a foul stench in the air. I thought nothing of it and approached the chest that was laid in the back, almost as if to give me a gift. It was booby-trapped, but I made quick work deactivating it. I just picked it up and tossed it aside. I opened the chest and looted its plunder. Inside was a weapon, a potion, and some gold. But when I closed it, that's when the strangeness happened. I drew my blade to find it was an ancient vampire. I did the only thing I knew how to do. Defend myself. After what had seemed like an eternity of battle, I struck the final blow. The vampire fell down next to me. It was such a strange place to encounter a vampire, so I decided to see what equipment it brought with it. I picked up the body and looked at the bloody hand. It was missing its ring finger. I decided to take a look around for something it could have dropped, and that's when I noticed that tiny piece of jewelry. I can feel something right away. I knew this ring emanated power. Maybe I could put it to use. I equipped the ring and made my way back towards the entrance. When I made it outside, it was nighttime, and immediately, my hands began to feel strange. I decided to walk back into town and sleep. The day was long, and I can use some rest. The closest town was Whiterun, and I was almost there. But as I walked off the main road, that's when I was ambushed. Five bandits had jumped me, but as I went to draw my blade, the ring decided to do something else. I can feel its power emanating. I looked at the bandit and let out a blast. I eviscerated one without even trying. The other ones, I just swung at, firing lasers. The last one swung at me, but I knew I could make easy work of him. So I just grabbed him, pointed my palm, and let loose. The bandit turned to ash in front of me. This ring was powerful. I was worried that there could be others that would seek out this ring. I had finally made it to the villages of Whiterun. It was late, and everyone was asleep. I walked up to the front gate and hailed the guard for entry. Been a murder over in Riftown. Some old lady who runs an orphanage. The guards finally heard about the original contract. I didn't make myself known. I just went into town. I went to the drunken huntsman. I knew that I can rent a room. I went inside and found a guard. I'm not going to warn you again. She Get wanted me to leave, so I didn't want to cause trouble. I just left. I knew I had to leave, become a drifter, and just walk outside the city gates to sleep. So I went to the wilderness, found myself a nice spot between a couple of rocks, and I waited. After day broke, I picked up my things and continued. Something didn't seem right. My hand glowed once more, but there was no enemies nearby. I walked over to the ruins of a guard tower and found a deceased guard. 
I checked on him just to be sure. He was far gone. One had lived, so I approached him for conversation. I asked the guard to keep watch while I approached the top. I grabbed the ring and investigated it in the daylight. It seemed different. It was at that moment I heard a commotion downstairs. I drew my sword and ran down as fast as I could. Dozens of bandits had attacked and slew the guard. I didn't have time to equip the ring, so I just used my sword. I slaughtered countless of them as I made my way down the stairs. I jumped down to not get surrounded, brought my steel blade up and blocked a few blows. I grabbed onto one and slashed his throat. He looked around at his comrades and the guard they had slaughtered. He knew his time was numbered, but he didn't give up. I gave him a swift death. It was over. I sheathed my blade. I picked up the guard and brought him outside. But just before I gave him his resting rights, there was more attackers. Hellish creatures showed up to attack me. I knew this ring was powerful. I just didn't know who it belonged to. I slayed one of the beasts. I continued to fight. I even used the effects of the ring. There was one remaining. I plunged my blade through its spine and into the demon's heart. And just when I thought it was over, more demons and a demon lord showed up. There was nothing I can do. They overwhelmed me swiftly. I swung my steel at their armor, hoping to take out quite a few of them. Eventually one struck a mighty blow. Yeah. With my back literally up against the wall, I knew my journey was at an end. And just then, I looked at my hand, a new power vested with inside the ring. Right before they struck the final blow, the ring went off, freezing everything in stasis. I could still feel my muscles and body move. So I ran. I made my way past the demon archers. I didn't know where I was going. I just knew I had to escape. I turned around and made eye contact with the demon lord. He stared back at me, vowing to destroy me. I knew that one day we were gonna have to battle, but today wasn't the day. I retreated back to one of the forts. I made my way inside and was immediately greeted by bandits. I looked at my hand once again and released the power of the ring. Time seemed to stand still as I slashed the orc thug's throat. I can see their arrows barely traveling through time. When things came back to, I was surrounded. The ring didn't go off again. I ran up the stairs to confront more of the archers. I blocked their blows and then made quick work of one of them. I thought to myself, what would happen if I activated the ring while grabbing my weapon? A power washed over my blade and I slaughtered my foes with it. I looked around and saw one final bandit. I knew what I had to do. I jumped down in front of him. My hand glowed and I let out a blast on the unfortunate bandit. After some time, the fort fell. I felt at ease, but I can sense tension in the air. I knew at some point the demon lord would try to find me and take back his ring. I was stricken with an idea. If I can enchant a different ring with similar power, I might be able to throw them off my trail. I harnessed the power of my ring and casted it into the simple piece of jewelry. I had hoped that this was enough. But I don't think my new problem will go away anytime soon.